With more right now on the playbook, we are joined by CCS analyst John Jackson. He is a former vice president of Yankee Group's Wireless Mobile Technologies Unit. John Jackson is with us from Boston. John, thanks so much for being with us. Is it too little, too late to, for RIM? I mean, they're not releasing this till the first half of next year. Does it create a buzz that can't be followed through by us walking into a store tomorrow? Well, I, I, think, uh, I think there's an element of that to be certain. What we do know about the tablet category is that it remains highly speculative. I heard some of your uh, analyst commentary on potential volume upside for this unit in particular relative to, to the iPad. What we do know about the category is that RIM are about to be in, uh, in, in very, very crowded company. So, you know, virtually all RIM's competitors are developing similar uh, types of devices, almost all are based on Google's Android operating system. So it's a safe bet that anyone who competes directly with RIM in the, in the smartphone space uh, is, uh, is, is set to launch one of these you know, in a comparable or earlier time period. I don't necessarily think it's too early, you know, too, too, uh, too little too late, though. I think that's, that's uh, not safe to say that, given the, uh, the effort uh, that RIM has put into the uh, development of the device itself uh, and the, the extent to which I think I think they've done something relatively clever in coming in well below uh, both in terms of the device's spec do you mean uh, price and its point? size and its weight and price point as well likely price point which we don't necessarily know what do you but, think it's uh, going to be know, John well I, I think if I have to kind of look at it and put a ballpark around it it's it's in that 300 to, to 350 okay so range. Ba basically much cheaper than the Apple iPad which is around 800 give or take. That's right. Well, 800, 500 really at the, at the low end, right? So you can't get into an iPad for, you know, for, for less than 500. I think there's a market opportunity uh, below that, and I think it's um, a rim have done a good job getting this, this product positioned in that way. What about the fact that they're going to miss the holiday season? How important is that to just getting it launched? You know, I, I think the, the, you can overestimate the importance of that. Would, it, would they like to, you know, would it be a good thing to have it on shelves for the holiday season? Absolutely. But, you know, the bigger story here is the QNX operating system. And I think you saw this announced at RIM's developer conference because, you know, they need to, engaging the development community is critical to attracting innovation, right? That's yeah, what everybody Apple says. Done so that's well. why Apple hits home runs all the time is because they're able to do that. They are a platform for innovation, and increasingly, the guys who compete in the smartphone space don't think in terms of smartphones alone. Look at what Apple are doing with ITV, Google TV, et cetera. So what I think you're going to see is that um, you know, the, the playbook is the first physical manifestation of a much, much broader strategy uh, at RIM based on the QNX operating system that's going to take them across multiple disparate hardware categories. John, you mentioned you thought some of the analyst points that we were referencing earlier were too aggressive. I just want to go back to that. Canaccord Genuity, our own John Ehrlichman, telling us 13.5 million iPads meant to ship this year, 25 million next year. Are those the figures that you say are just too optimistic for the space? I don't necessarily think they're too optimistic, and I don't think they're too aggressive necessarily. But you know, the, the issue around this category, and you know, we know this from being on the other side of uh, very pointy questions from some of the OEMs, is that nobody really knows how to size the market. So you know, it, and in the case of RIM, we don't know two important things, right? I gave you some indication of what we think the price point is, but that's a loose indication. So we don't know price, and we don't know distribution yet. RIM haven't disclosed sort of how or where. Uh, they'll distribute this. And obviously, those are two of the four P's of marketing, as we say, and critical determinants of a product's success. John, thanks so much. John Jackson joining us there from Boston from CCS Insight, saying there's still too many unknowns for the playbook to really tell how it's going to do next year.